Okay, we go. Hey, sir, sorry for the delay. So you going to a hotel in Pala? Yeah, I know the place. It's lucky for you. Pala has only one hotel still working. fire destroyed everything and now he left the country. Yeah, he'll be there. This is Liberation Radio, speaking the truth for the truth seekers. And the truth is that your country needs you. Beware the evil APR scorch. A plague has gripped our people. They're not fans of the DJ. Maybe his music choices, who knows? What about some of the many checkpoint is all on it? I mean, I'm Gunzana. I bang a young man. Where are you headed? My passenger driving him to the hotel mm-hmm. in town. You come from the airport? Yes, sir. The airport. Uh, g- gentlemen, you are posted here all day. Ne? On my way back, I grab some cold beer. You drink beer? Yep. Ne? Beer. We drink beer. Hurry up then. Move along. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll see you soon, sir. Foreigners. Oh, no offense. But you know, these militia, they come into our country, steal everything, and they leave us nothing. It's okay, they keep to themselves most of the time. Don't let this concern you, just boys let him off steam, right? You remember how you. I'm 
way out of the country. The only fool stay. Hey, fools and cab drivers. Okay, sir, we are here. We made it alive. Hey, are you okay? You don't look so good. You tired? Long flight. His presence in the state continues to be a stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the joint signatory framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you tried, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? You're fired. You know it and so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. I'm the one who decides who lives and who dies. Me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. I still think about it every day. It helps me understand life out here. The book talks about men, about what motivates them. Simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. So long.
Kunde Bier. Bagelle, Jack. Better do some first aid on that. I'm Capo and you're a problem. Who are you working with? You got some of my guys killed at the hotel, did you know that? So now I think you work for me now. Get on out here, get yourself some gear. We got ammo and meds, weapons, whatever you need. Now listen up. The shit really hit the fan back in town. There was supposed to be ceasefire, but that's all gone to hell. I work with a local guy named Kawasi. Runs muscle for the APR. I've got my best man out in the field trying to keep the UFL out from encroaching on my zone. Sorry, but that makes you my auxiliary. Your first duty of the day. I need you to get that rust bucket two-door outside back on the road. You know how to fix cars? Go out there and see if you can get the engine started. Stay on task. You're sick. You don't have time to screw around. Guard!
nearby. Let's see if you can handle something that shoots back. Your fellows got a small outpost. Have a click north of here. Now that the bullets are flying again, I don't want them there. Get rid of them. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-